Hello Hatchet, Lexi Booms here, welcoming you to this week's PSC video featuring robotics and interact. Stay tuned for a very positive message at the end as well. Alright, first question. Melanie, what is Interact? Interact is the high school version of the community service organization Rotary, which has clubs worldwide. Sweet. Alright, question number two. Uh, ben, what does Interact do? Well, we do a lot of things ranging from um, events in our community like uh, putting lights up at the courthouse to painting the dugouts to stuff around the world where we have our Pizza Hut uh, tip night where people within the club go and act as wait uh, waitresses and waiters and uh, the tips compiled from that night go to help uh, vaccinate children across the world for polio. That's powerful, guys. Alright guys, why don't you tell our viewers what the favorite thing you've done with Interact is? My favorite thing was probably setting up Christmas lights at the courthouse. Well, every year we get to go Christmas caroling for the elderly people at like Meadow Lane and stuff, and that's that's fun. Oh, I love going out and painting the Spirit Rock. <laughs> awesome. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled, joyful So, what's something you're looking forward to in 2019? I'm looking to the start of my college career at Michigan Technological University and the fact that I'll have Mr. Polkley for four hours in one school day. Bingo, bingo. So it's something you're looking forward to in 2019. In 2019, I'm looking forward to my state championship in wrestling on March 3rd of 2019. Excellent. So, what's something you're looking forward to in 2019? Um, graduating, duh. So, Mr. Van Hodigan, what is your New Year's resolution this year? My New Year's resolution is to shoot a big buck. What are you looking forward to in 2019, Mr. Canary? Uh, track and graduating and the track. So, uh, what is your New Year's resolution, Miss Dean? Hi, Noah. My New Year's resolution is I'm going to start a gratitude journal. And every day I'm going to write five things that I'm grateful for. And also, can I say that um, prayers are with Miss Anderson. She's She's healing up really great, and we can't wait to have her back. And thank you to all the students for making me feel really welcome while I've been here. So have a Merry Christmas and a joyful New Year. Peace. Uh, action. So, Mr. Sutherland, what is your New Year's resolution this year? <clears throat> I've actually got two of them. Uh, this is going to my wife. Uh, my New Year's resolution is going to be twofold. One, I'm going to cook dinner two times a week, not just one, but two. And I'm also going to change one diaper per week. That's it. Good. I'm with the Badass Middle School A team for robotics. And this is Ellen. And she's here to answer some of the questions that I have for her. So, about tournament, what is your like favorite part about going? Mm -hmm. It has to be just seeing all the other robots, seeing how well we play. And, we don't fall apart. Yeah. <laughs> and um, of all the places you've been to, like at all the tournaments, what's the highlight of them? At Cross Legs, which we actually placed first at, even though our one of our wheels kept falling off, and yet we could perfectly drive without it. That's great. Apparently, it's three wheel drive. Okay. FedEx Robotics Team C. <laughs> this is Megan. She's up on the team seat, of course. So, <laughs> when going to tournament, what's your favorite part about tournament, and what are the highlights of the tournament that you've been to? Yeah. Uh, my favorite part of the tournament is all the elimination. It's kind of interesting to see all the other teams pick each other. You know, most of the time it's usually first, second, third, fourth, but sometimes it's really crazy stuff. Um, if you remember from competition, it's probably my first competition last year in 8th grade. It was, the first thing we did was turn our robot on and then it caught flame. It, it caught on fire. Yeah. This is Team A. And what is your favorite part about going to tournaments and your best highlight from each tournament? Uh, well, I'd have to say the best part of the tournaments is going and seeing uh, what everyone's got, you know. There's a lot of new designs you can learn about going to tournaments. Uh, a few of them have influenced what we're doing here. Um, I'd have to say probably my favorite part was the Bad X tournament last year, where we um, basically, we spent all year uh, improving our robot design, and finally we saw Cluso come together and uh, got second place, so that was really cool. Nice. 
Danielle Little here with me, and this is, of course, Ms. Habana. Um, this is Danielle's first year in robotics, and um, I thought we'd just ask what it's like being a first year in robotics here. So what did you think? Well, tournaments are pretty cool. I honestly, when I first joined, I thought it was going to be super boring, but there's like such a rush to it, and it's like honestly kind of crazy. And I was really surprised the second tournament, because I was left alone, and I somehow won an award. So I guess that's pretty great. Okay, so um, Danielle has actually done very well in a lot of things. She's done some, when she first came in, she was thinking like she didn't know what to do with it. And now she's doing some amazing things that like she said she won an award as a result. She's just going to demonstrate some of the things she has to do um, as in this competition this year. The competition this year is called Turning Point. Okay. You have to be able to turn flag, the color of your team, low flag, so worth one point. And they're able to design something that can reach the high flag, so it's a worth two points. The first thing she, she has to do here is turn caps. They are worth one point, and they have to be turned to her team color. What she has to be able to do is climb these platforms. If she finished at the end of the 1 minute 45 second competition with her uh, robot and her color platform, she gets 3 points, but up on that yellow platform is worth 6 points. It's always a fight to the last second. All right, so you met our robotics team, um, and we are very excited about our upcoming competition in January 26th. There's one for the middle school, January 25th, um, Friday, and then there's one uh, for the high schoolers, Saturday, January 26th. Um, it's going to be from 9 to... About four, yeah. and we are expecting 32 teams to compete with our uh, to compete at this uh, event. Um, the title of the uh, event is Turning Point, and and we are we it will involve as you saw in the exam uh, in the demonstration, caps being turned, uh, flags being flipped and uh, robots battling it up to the platform to see who will get to the middle floor. Um, we are hoping you can join us. Um, I think it will be pretty exciting. Um, and if you are able to assist us also, we're also welcome to that idea. Thanks. This is Mark and Ethel and Abby Nealon reminding you that positively positive people with positively positive attitudes positively promote people with positively positive attitudes. <laughs> Perfect.